Hi, I'm Dr. Bernadine Cruz, and I'm here with Dr. Ike, and you're with Southern California Veterinary Specialty Hospital, and you just gave a very interesting presentation to a group of veterinarians about nutraceuticals and its use for arthritis. Now, that's very common. Oftentimes, people will be coming in wanting to know whether or not they can use their own products, for instance, glucosamine, trying to solve it, to help prevent arthritis. Well, I, you know, there's no good studies to show one's better than the other. I do stand by some of the veterinary products where we have much more research and clinical studies. But, I, you know, if it comes down to using something or nothing, I'd rather have them use something. So I do like the veterinary products that are within the veterinary hospitals. I recommend those first, but if you have a good human product, it's probably acceptable too. As long as they stand by the purity of their product, there's a lot of products that you buy that are very inexpensive, that don't actually have what they say they have. You pay for what you get. Correct. So glucosamine chondroitin and sulfate, how do they actually work? People oftentimes think, oh, it stops pain. Does it really do that? Well, it, it stops pain in the sense that we're decreasing, hopefully, the inflammatory mediators within the joint. So the way that they work is they tend to downregulate the release of these inflammatory mediators, and they tend to upregulate some of the good things to help cartilage repair itself. So in a sense, it will relieve pain in the overall picture. It doesn't stop the underlying process that's going on. So, so it's not going to repair anything that's already happened? It, it may. We just don't know. Hopefully, there is some reparative mechanisms, but it's more that we're trying to stop inflammation and allow the body to heal. But it's not going to be a cure-all. It, need, it needs to be used with other modalities if they have severe arthritis. If you were to, for instance, have a young Labrador puppy, and you see a lot of these foods now, they're joint formulas, they're supposed to help the joint because they'll have ingredients like glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. Will that be preventative of keeping a pet from having a problem? Yes. Now, that being said, we don't have any good objective studies to show that, but we think that any form of supplementation, especially with breeds that are predisposed to orthopedic disease, anything can help. So, the glucosamine, chondroitin sulfate foods, I do think helps, but if they want to supplement on top of those, I don't think that that works either. So, any of the breeds that are predisposed, Labradors, Goldens, Rottweilers, Mastis, any of these big breeds that are predisposed to orthopedic disease, I do think that it helps to have some sort of nutraceutical board as soon as possible. And how about if you have a cat? Cats don't seem to be as prone to getting arthritis, but do these products also work for cats? They do. That's a good question. Now, the reason that cats don't is cats are a little bit more secretive, they're a little bit lighter, they have more springy joints, but cats get osteoarthritis and degenerative joint disease, just like dogs and people. So, yes, I think if you have a cat that has some pre-existing condition, it's not going to hurt. If it's in the food for a cat, I think that's perfect. Dr. Ike, thank you very much. If you have a pet that you're concerned may have arthritis, best thing to do is talk to your veterinarian and check to see if it's overweight. That is such a problem with our pets. And if it's overweight, best thing to do is get that weight off of it, get it off safely. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you. Thanks.